tell me something about yourself and your style, um, your hobbies, your habits, or something like that? Um, well, uh, I started my life uh, as a journalist, mm -hmm. my working life, and I became a television scriptwriter and then a producer, and I quit television to take up full time writing of novels. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what I've been doing for the last um, I don't know, um, 15 years, 10 years, 15 years. Um, my hobbies are probably music, uh, because when I was a teenager I played in a band, mm -hmm. uh, right through my teen years and into my 20s. Yeah. Um, and if I had any wish uh, to have a different career, it would be to be a musician. <laughs> And uh, what genre you played as a band? Oh, it was rock way, way back then, yeah, it, it was it was um, soul music and Tamil yeah. Motown and rock. And we had a it was a seven piece band with a brass <laughs> section. And, uh, oh, great! And I played keyboards. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Yes, as I uh, knew and you said it, you worked as a journalist and then you started writing a novel and uh, novels. And where was the edge when you said yourself, uh, uh, told you yourself, uh, yes, stop, and I want to start um, creating something new on a new level, uh, especially this uh, writing a novel? Uh, I'd always wanted to write novels. That's, mm -hmm. that's what I wanted to do right from the very beginning. Um, mm -hmm. But it's very hard to make a living as a as a novelist. Yeah. So that's why I became a journalist. Um, uh, when I moved into television, writing for television is a very lucrative job. You make a lot of money. Um, so it was quite a hard decision for me at the end of the day to walk away from such mm -hmm. a high paying job um, to become a novelist. Um, uh, Initially, I just wanted to write stories that would entertain readers. Yeah. And then, by the time I'd finished writing my China books, I wanted to write something a little deeper, uh, a little more philosophical, mm -hmm. a little more about the human condition, uh, which is when I wrote The Black House. Um, and that changed really my approach to writing and, 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 and the fact that I try to work outside of the genre mm -hmm. um, to write novels rather than crime books. To be honest, when I started uh, reading The Black House, um, I expected just a, a crime novel, but then I was like, what the hell am I reading right now? <laughs> it was a mixture of, of a crime novel and um, psychological stuff uh, and uh, sophisticated psychology of the main characters and it was very surprising for me so um, was it your plan at the beginning write like this or was it at the beginning plan like uh, write just a crime novel and then you realized uh, well it could be even even more than crime novel I think in the beginning I started to write uh, simply a crime novel, mm -hmm. um, but as as I developed the story in my mind and in through my research, and I went back to visit the islands and talked to people on the islands. As I did that, the characters grew in my mind. The characters became more complex. Mm -hmm. Their histories. I realized that really the the real story of the book was the backstory, not the investigation, but the story behind the investigation. Yeah. The the, the childhood years of these main characters, when they were at primary school, when they were adolescents. Um, and so it became much more complex, it became much more psychological, mm -hmm. and in a way it took over, um, it took me over as a writer, yeah. um, and, and ended up being the book it, that it is. Yeah, and what can we as uh, readers, can we look forward to? Uh, what uh, are you writing right now? some of your piece? <clears throat> I've just finished writing a, a new novel called Runaway, mm -hmm. which is based around um, an episode that happened when I was a teenager and I ran away from home with my fellow <laughs> band members and we ran away from Glasgow to London 
Yeah. And we left notes for our parents on our pillows. Um, and it's it, it was always a, a, a fairly major experience in my, my young life. <laughs> um, and I always wanted to write a story where the, the same characters 50 years later would make a return journey. Yeah. Um, of course, it required a reason, a motivation for doing that, and I, and I have created that in the in the new book. So it's a story that takes place in partial part of it in 1965 mm -hmm. and part of it in 2015, with a century between the two, but the same characters 50 years on. <laughs> okay, and the last question, I think. What do you think about Brno? Uh, have you been somewhere, uh, somewhere in here? Um, for example, Petrov or uh, Spielberg Castle? Have you, uh, have you um, had the opp opportunity? I haven't. All day I have been filming um, for a, a documentary for, yeah, Czech, for Czech, Czech TV. Yeah, I heard um, that. And they have taken me also all, all, all sorts of places. They took me to a big shopping center yeah. uh, on the outskirts of mm -hmm. Brno. And then uh, we, we came to a whiskey pub <laughs> for lunch and then we did some filming in there. So yeah. it was a very good pub and they had a fantastic range of Scottish whiskies. Mm -hmm. And then we went out to um, a lake uh, I think it's somewhere to the south. It's a it's a man-made lake. It uh, it used to be a river and they flooded it. Um, and there are yeah yeah uh, there are okay. standing stones and yeah yeah uh, yeah I know yeah. So it was a, it was about thirty or forty minutes drive uh -huh. to to go out there. Yeah. But I haven't had a chance to see Brno. I, it, we arrived late last mm -hmm. night and I have been filming all day and they want me to leave at seven o'clock tomorrow morning. So. Um, one day I would love to come back because yeah. what I've seen it looks like a beautiful town. Yeah. So that's all. Thank you for your time. And You're very welcome.